Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking into this video. If you're new here, my name is Judy and in today's video, we are at Ningxia Night Market. So in comparison to my very, very first video, which I was in the Shuling Night Market, this isn't as touristy, but it's been so good that more people have been eating out here. So for all the food lovers, if you like to be straightforward, get to the point, all about food, this is your night market, Ningxia Night Market. So it's still pretty light right now, and this is probably the earliest I've ever been to the night market. It's almost 6 p.m. and I'm super excited. Hopefully I get to have all the fresh meats, all the fresh food that just came out. And as always, before we hop into this night market ride, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button as well as the thumbs up button. You can comment down below, say hello, or if you have any questions or any specific content that you would like to see on this channel. Comment down below. And without further ado, Follow along, let's go! And this one's a little bit different from what you usually see because this is completely fried. And we got something super basic, just add in an egg, some chili, and a bit of basil with a little salt and pepper, and voila, fried scallion pancake. This is super thin. Usually, I'm a little bit skeptical to get the fried version of the scallion pancake because it's usually pretty doughy but this one's actually quite thin let me get another big bite to get into the sauce and the egg so so far it seems like there's a whole lot of the pancake when it was so much of the egg or the basil or the jelly so I would rate this a 7.85 just because most of the scallion pancakes that I usually get are really good and pretty meaty and I probably wouldn't get this again just because there's just a lot of the dough talking and I need more of the filling okay I just wanted to give it a benefit of the doubt and get to the bottom of it to see the true test of this fried scallion pancake so I wanted to get another bite where it's completely filled with the egg, the chili sauce, the basil. One last bite. It definitely does make a difference now that like everything is filled in there, but the original scallion pancake is still much better. just sat down at this place who's apparently known for beautiful and handsome cookers which as you may have seen the girls are skinny and pretty and the guy is pretty jacked we just got a bowl of kong ro fat which is big pieces of the braised pork huge piece nice and thick the fat looks pretty juicy and it looks like they're pieces of bamboo shoots and a whole bowl of rice. Wow! Let's take a big old bite of this! Mm. Let me get the fat. A little 
bit of the rice. quite tender, quite juicy, it just slid right off my mouth. And the fat, good thing the piece of fat isn't too big, so it doesn't taste heavy, it doesn't feel heavy. Bite with the meat and the fat together. The meat just slides right off. I haven't had the bamboo shoots yet though. Bamboo shoots are all soaked and marinated in this sauce. Overall rating, 9.45. This is good. Perfect amount of meat. And if you're a rice lover, this is a huge bowl for you. The chicken skin looking real saucy. Mm. I don't know what they do, but every time that we get these skewers, it's nicely glazed all over the skin. Nicely cooked, but still has that nice crisp on the skin. It's so thin, so it never tastes super heavy. with the perfect amount of fat taste. Honestly, this is always an easy 11 out of 10. No questions asked. Second skewer on the list. Ooh! 100 points for whoever knows what this is. The infamous chi xing, which is the chicken heart. I always have to get this. I'm a huge fan of intestines. So any stall that sells good looking grilled intestines, including the chicken heart, I am there. Here we have it. These are a bit smaller from what I'm used to. I feel like they're like super miniature chicken hearts. But they still got that texture. I usually prefer slightly bigger ones just because I love the texture of intestines so I get more of the bounce and this one's just like every bite is just like a little bit of a teaser. I would rate this a 9.55 just because I prefer larger pieces of bouncy intestines. Here we have it with the chicken buttock. Chicken they have a different Chinese name on the sign just so it's not yeah. translated Chinese. How can you not love chicken ass? It's so juicy every time. Literally, I'm feeling like the oil is dripping down as I'm speaking. All right, let me take a bite. I mean, if this isn't heaven, heaven, then I don't know what is. It's always so good. Chicken buttock. The perfect amount of glaze, oil, juice, fat, texture, everything you need, honestly, is on this stick. 11 out of 10, once again. I am obsessed with these. Last but not least, we have the most expensive item on the menu, which is their they're thinly piece of pork wrapped all around huge pieces of scallions. So it's got a little bit of meat and a little bit of veggies. Okay, let's take a bite. The oil is literally dripping as we speak. There's so much crunch because every bite is filled with the thick pieces of scallions, that thin slice of 
fourth, their new uwa. It's just glazed with this sweet sauce. I have no idea what it is, but it's a nice glaze of sweet sauce. And it looks like there's a bit of pepper sprinkled on top as well. Super flavorful. And it has that crunch with every bite. The texture is there as well. I would definitely rate this a 9.85. trying to have a good time then have some gaoliang so that's what they call this sausage the gaoliang xiang chang it also has egg and a little bit of sauce inside so I'm very very excited to try it because we had the fried scallion pancake earlier so I'm excited to try this one A lot of pepper on it. <laughs> um, initial thoughts maybe this scallion pancake is a little bit too thin. It's so thin that I don't taste any of the texture, I don't taste any of the scallion, so it almost just tastes like a normal tortilla wrap. But a scallion pancake is usually so much more than that. All right, let me get into the meat. And the meat always saves the day. I just realized that there's also basil and I love basil. So the meat definitely added much more to the whole bite texture. And I can taste a little bit of the basil. So overall, this bite definitely made up for it. But I still think that the scallion pancake is a little bit too thin. It's a little bit too chewy. So unfortunately, I would have to rate this an 8.75. The meat's good. But that's about it. I'm a little bit disappointed in the scallion pancake. And I'm almost on a hunt on showing you guys a good scallion pancake. drinker but I'm super excited to have these fried taro balls and they have two options to choose from one option is the salted egg yolk and the other is the meat floss that's all stuck inside so very excited to try this Let's get a bite whoa whoa it's a whole lot of everything if you guys have had a mooncake before you will definitely understand because there's a huge piece of salted egg yolk and actually i thought they were going to be separated but it's not it's salted egg yolk on top of the meat floss which is interesting wow that was a lot of just everything on top of the taro itself um, I would say it's definitely pretty heavy. You would definitely need to share this with someone even though it's just a small ball. I would rate this a 7.95. Even though I know it's on the Michelin Guide, but I think for me, the salted egg yolk and the meat floss together 
is a bit too much. If it was actually just a taro ball, I would probably like it a lot more. Okay, so it's come to my understanding that I got this totally wrong. It's actually one option is just fried taro balls, and the other is with the meat block plus the salted egg yolk. So I'm actually even more excited now because now I know that this is all taro, fried taro ball. Okay, this makes total sense now. If you are a taro lover, you need to come try these fried taro balls. It's literally just mush up taro heaven and adding a cherry on top, it's fried. And the breading isn't super thick, cooked so just right. And if you are a mooncake lover, I would also suggest you to come because the salted egg yolk and the meat floss are inside the taro ball. Rating? 9.15 just because i feel like if i have too much of this it would be a little too heavy but still pretty solid taro lovers come get them just got some coconut juice to cleanse the pellets even though everything's super delicious it's still quite oily and greasy, so after a while, you do need to wash it down and then start the cycle again. It's getting a bit darker now. The lights are turned on, the music's popping, and it's just a random Monday evening. Wow, that was a ton of food. I'm so full. I'm so satisfied. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me eating a bunch of delicious food at the Ningxia Night Market. It's definitely much more straightforward. No other shops, but just all food, food, food. And it's much easier to navigate because it is just a straight shot. It's not a maze like Shuling Night Market. So if you are just looking for food, Ningxia Night Market is the way to go. If you guys like today's content, please hit the like and subscribe button. Comment down below and say hello or leave any questions that you might have. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.